So, make sure that your map of Greece says ancient Greece on the top. The compass is pointed north. That's how you know when your map is facing the right way. All right, so this big chunk of land here is mainland Greece. Uh, I say mainland Greece because Greece isn't just this chunk of land. It's also made up of a lot of little islands. These are just the tip of the iceberg when we come to number of islands that are actually in the seas. Um, there's thousands of islands in these seas. Um, that makes it pretty dangerous for the people that are going to trade. Uh, back then, they didn't have a really good way to show direction. The magnetic compass had not been invented yet. And um, they needed to sometimes go sailing at night uh, because they would use the stars to help guide them. Otherwise, they could get lost. Uh, when that happened, the danger was they would crash into these islands. Another danger back then would have been pirates. Yes, pirates were real, and pirates would steal uh, your materials, get on your ship, steal all your stuff. So this dangerous sea here that they would sail across, I'm recording this, guys. The dangerous sea they would, that they um, sailed across is this one. It's the Aegean Sea. That one right there. <clears throat> it has all these islands. Again, just to tip the iceberg and the number of islands that they had. So if they left and made it through the Aegean Sea and all these islands, they would eventually make it to this. This is a sea, okay? It's between mainland Greece, mainland Greece and this island, which is important to our story. This island is the island of Crete. This is where the first two early civilizations, the Minoan and the Mycenaean civilization, developed. Um, it's also, if you, how many of you have read Percy Jackson? Okay. I, mean, I use that one because this creature is in Percy Jackson. So if you read Percy Jackson, when they he goes to the Camp Half-Blood, right? Yeah. And he gets attacked by a creature. You guys remember what that creature is called? Uh, Minotaur. Minotaur. Minotaur is from Crete. <coughs> <coughs> so this is where um, the Minotaur first develops in Crete. No. Is it the story? <coughs> And they disowned it, and they locked it inside of a maze or something? Yep, the big maze, yep. And we'll be watching that story later when we talk about mythology. Yay! So there's a sea here, and it's named after that island. What do you think this is called right here? Crete. Close, the Sea of Crete. of Crete. Yep. Very ingenious name. Now, if you got through these two seas, you would hit the big sea, the sea that lots of people use, the super trade highway sea. What's that sea? Very good. It's right down there. This is where they would hook up with people from Egypt, people from uh, Canaan, people from uh, Persia, which is also right over here, Mesopotamia area. They would all use the sea for super highway trade. Yes. Yep. <clears throat> now, if you sailed around Greece, you hit another sea right here. And this one is the Ionian Sea. Ionian Sea. <clears throat> so, are we good with labeling? Everybody look at mainland Greece. What do you see a lot of? Mountains. Lots of mountains. So mainland Greece is probably, I think it's like 80% or so mountains, <clears throat> which means only about 20% or even less of the land is farmable, which poses a challenge for Greece later. We'll talk about that in a second. <clears throat> but because of all these mountains and because they have to settle in the areas that there are farmland, villages would pop up all over Greece, but they would be they could be as close as a mile apart but have a big mountain in between them and never communicate. So because of these, these city states grew really independent of each other. So people that lived in Greece back then did not see themselves as from Greece. They saw themselves as from their city-state, and that was like the huge city-state pride. It's almost like that country was divided up into tiny little countries back then. 
that all would have been different. Each one of these city-states had different values. They had different ways they educated their people. They had different forms of government. They had different laws. And they were not, they're like Mesopotamia. They did not work together in terms of like how, how to run everything. They weren't together. They were independent of each other. <clears throat> because of that, they developed very differently. But they shared some common threats. They all believed in the same gods and goddesses, although some of them valued different gods and goddesses above others. And they all spoke the same language. However, we're going to be talking about two specific city-states later on this week. And those are the two ones you're really going to need to know as far as um, Greece. There's lots of them. When we do our Greek Olympics, we'll, we'll have five city-states, and they'll all be city-states from back then. But the two you need to know information about are and Starts with an A. What'd you say? Persian. Not Persian. Starts with an A. Close. Athens. Sparta and Athens. The first one right here. It's Sparta. This is Sparta. Yeah, we'll be talking about that. They made a movie about that. I'm not telling you to watch it because it's rated R and it's very gory. Um, and it's also it's also called it's also got some um, weird things that like basically they took the 300 story, the story of the 300. And they made it into a comic book, and then they made the comic book into the movie. So it's very dramatized. Like, it's got some stuff, like, that would never happen in real life. But it does depict King Leonidas, um, who, with his band of Persian soldiers, held off a huge group of people in a small mountain pass at Thermopylae. And we'll be talking about that when we talk about the Persian Wars. We'll talk about that later when we get to the Persian War. We'll be talking about that next week. Of yeah. So, uh, didn't like, like 150 of them or so like stay there and fight off the main area? The 300, the 300 done. And then the rest of the group went around. <coughs> yep. And, and that was the whole point. Okay, moving on. So there's Sparta. Sparta is located on this chunk of land right here. And this chunk of land has a special name. It's called Peloponnesus. Peloponnesus. Can you guys see that okay? <clears throat> the reason why we need to know that is because there is a war named after it. And who do you think is involved in that war? Sparta. It's called the Peloponnesian War. Now, um, the other city-state is right here. Little dot. That city-state is Athens. Athens is named after the goddess Athena, who is the goddess of knowledge. And speaking of God and goddesses, she is one of the... Guys, turn off the talking, please. She's one of the most 12 most important gods and goddesses. There's a whole bunch more. There's half-gods or demigods. Um, there's... <coughs> there's... Uh, yeah, the 12 important gods and goddesses, though, the top 12 live in a certain place. And if you've read Percy Jackson, you probably know the name of that place they lived on. Anybody know? <laughs> That's right, Mount Olympus. Which, go to this mountain right here and make it dark. Just fill it in real dark so it stands out. Right here, <clears throat> label it, <laughs> label it Mount Olympus. Okay. <clears throat> now, Greece, the area of Greece kind of ends right about here, and a new group of people live up here. And that's important because later on they come down, they take over Greece. A very famous and important person comes from this area. They take over Greece. They also take over um, areas of Egypt. 
This land right here is Macedonia. That is where these people are going to be from when we talk about them later. Macedonia. <clears throat> now the next thing you need is to come down here. Is everybody good with that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Hurry up. Wait a second. <clears throat> Are we good? Okay, come down here and draw a box. It comes to be super big, but draw a box. In that box, draw three little boxes. We're making a key. The first box, label it Sparta and Allies. What's an ally? A person, who, an al a person that is joined in there on your side. Yes. So that's like friend. Sparta and Allies. They're on your side. They're your friend. The next one is Athens and Allies. And last is Neutral States. What does Neutral States mean? What do you think? Like colony. Okay. Neutral States, that means... Uh, they're, not they're not attacking it. They're not. They're not in, like, right. Or they're they're not, not. They say nope. Not my. Not not my deal. I'm staying out of it. They're neutral. They're not going to be involved. <laughs> neutral states. <clears throat> now the first thing you're going to need is a green. So get a green in your hand. Okay. Come over to the neutral states box and color that green. this island right here. That whole island of Crete, they're out. Hey guys, I'm recording this and people that watch it at home can hear all of this. So just saying. Uh, Nathan, can you pull that door shut? Thank you. There's four tiny islands, one here, one here, one here, and one here that are also green. <laughs> then, are we good? Yep, yeah. Now we're going to come up to the Peloponnesus. There are some green areas. The first, I'm going to draw a line in and kind of see where my green areas are. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to come around, down, and up. Inside that line right there is all green. Okay, then there's another chunk right here. Just draw a little C around that little area right there, and inside the C is green.
Okay, coming up here. It's the last chunk of green, but it's pretty big. So starting here, it's going to come up. Loop up, come down, like about here, then kind of skim over here to about here. Then it's going to come up, get skinnier, and kind of form a line that goes up to about here. Okay. Inside that line. Inside that line is all green, not this island, on the main line. Okay, hold on. Hold on, I will tell you when you can go. It's actually, you don't even need to be there for another minute. I just said 12.28, so I knew when to go. Alright, that's the last of the green. Alright. Okay, the next color you're going to need in your hand is purple. Turn off the talking, please. We don't have a ton of time left, so. Okay, go down to your little key. Color in Sparta and Ally is purple. Okay. Come up here. Turn off the noises. Up here, draw a little line right between where Peloponnesus kind of ends, and this is Atticus where that ends, where it begins. That little purple line. All the rest of this in this little chunk right here is going to be purple, besides what you're colored green. So start coloring this purple. Peloponnesus. Oh, that little chunk of land. You need to color this little island purple too. Then coming up to where uh, Athens is, there's a chunk of land that's purple kind of right in the middle. I'm going to trace it out. Inside there, color it purple. See right there? There's Athens, got a little chunk. Inside, you're going to color it purple. Then, come over to this little chunk right here. First, this island here is purple. Kinda. And then I'm going to color right here this little chunk. That little piece right here is going to be purple. And then lastly, down here anyway, this little piece kind of in this little loop is purple.
Once you're done with that little bit, come up to Macedonia. This area is all purple up here. Starting right about here and kind of going up. And then over here, we're going to draw a line going... Oh, sorry. Is that better? So everywhere in between the, this, all this land right here is purple. See that line there and that line there? All this land is purple. There's one thing I forgot to label on here. Um, just looked at it now and realized that I did not label it. And that is over here on the side. Um, remember when we talked about Mesopotamia a long time ago? I mentioned the Persians. We talked about the Persians a little bit. Um, and I said that they're going to be coming back. And here's where they come back. They're really important in ancient Greece because one of the wars, the Persian wars, is fought with them. The Persians, remember, are the ones that come over and take over the land that Mesopotamia is in. They kind of expand it out. So the Persian Empire is over this way. It kind of goes here. It spreads down towards Mesopotamia. All right. Last color. Not last color. Almost last color. Just kidding. You're going to need a yellow. Yellow. Yep. Go down to your key. This last box here is going to be yellow. All right. Giving this up. Listen up. You see this white? Leave this white up here. This is land we're not talking about. Leave that white. All the rest of the land, which means all of these little islands, this land, this land, 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 all these islands, this land here. All this is going to be yellow. So get color in yellow. <laughs> Keep going then. Athenians. Athenians. So just judging by what you see, who do you think would win a war or fought between Athens and Sparta? What do you think? Well, I said if it's between Athens and Sparta, who do you think is going to win? Just based on land. Okay, you don't have a ton of time left of class, so focus. Keep coloring yellow. All this land, all these little islands. And someone asked, well, why would those be colored yellow? Does people live, do people live in them? Um, and the answer to that is yes, there are colonies that leave the mainland of Greece. The reason why is, remember I told you before, there's not a lot of farmland? Yeah. Did you want to know that? 
I mean, I wouldn't. Do you want to put some like um? You have like whiteout or something? Do you have to redo a whole map, or would you rather do a whole map? See if I can see if I can find you some after we're done. So just leave it and keep coming the rest of it. Okay. So anyway, um, so what happened was the population kept growing because they had food, right? But they ran out of space to farm food because when you have so much mountains and not enough land, your population soon or sooner or later is going to get too big. So what they had to do is they had to send people to go find a new place to live and set up a colony. Now, we've had colonies here, right, in the United States? Yeah. You guys all know that, 13 colonies. Um, it's when you're the country or the area you're a part of, you go leave that and start a new one somewhere else using kind of the same values and still under the same government control as the place you came from. So they went out and set up colonies so they could farm more land and have more food. So they would end up leaving and going to other places and setting up their colonies. And when that happens, Greece culture spreads like crazy. And we'll talk about that later. It's called the Hellenistic Age. When the Hellenistic just means Greek. So they set up Greek. And you could go to Rome and you can go to places in Africa and you can see Greek architecture and stuff like that because of all the people that had to leave Greece and go other places. The last thing you need to do, all the white here, except for the white I said leave, color it blue. All the keys. And you don't have to color it really hard. Just shade it. I, this is my third time coloring this today. Stop complaining. You don't have to color it perfect. Just like me, you're going to come through and kind of shade it in. And if you do, that's fine. I'm not going to spend time doing that. Because we only have probably another... Five-ish minutes of class or so, and we still got to get this in our notebook. What? No, it's when like people look down at and go like, "Boy, were these people stupid?" And then if you look at humanity nowadays, you're like. I am in no position to judge. Hey guys, I'm still recording. Thank you. Okay, when you're done coloring, here's what you need to do. Watch up here. You're going to open up your notebook, wherever that may be, right here. Open up your notebook. Go to slide five. Go to insert image. Oops, insert image, and then go to camera. It'll pop up your camera. Mine won't do it. It'll say no camera selected because I don't. I'm using a, I, I'm using a camera-based thing right now, so I'm going to let me do it. But you take a picture, add it to slide five. Now, if you cannot read it in your notebook, like if you if it's, it takes the picture and it's a little bit blurry and you're having trouble seeing it, keep the paper map. We will be using this again. I just had you put this picture in there so I can grade it when you guys turn it in instead of collecting all these papers from you in two weeks and having half of them be lost. It'll be in your notebook ready to go. But if you cannot see it, keep this. Keep the paper copy, but put your digital copy and you take a picture and put it on there. 
All right, that's all for today. We're not going to have time to get into anything else.